Okay, so um, good evening, everyone. Welcome to my pre-recorded video on my lecture on the um, different international travel patterns and, of course, um, the transportation sector. Now, so this evening, I will be um, discussing again you know, what I have already um, discussed you know, this morning for those who weren't able to join us. No, um, earlier this morning, so you can do a replay of this video, no, or um, watch this, no, either tonight or tomorrow. So at least, no, you can also catch up with the others. So just to give you an idea as well, no, because in case that you will be able to join us on Wednesday, and then you will continue with the airline industry, um, you will also have an idea, no nga. Okay, so I will now share my screen with you. Okay, so just a recap. Um, we did discuss no, um, the history of tourism. So we already um, discussed early tourism. Tourism in the medieval period, tourism in the Renaissance and Elizabethan era, tourism in the Industrial Revolution, um, modern tourism, um, which includes the um, tourism in the 19th century and the 20th century. So we've also discussed um, the origin of tourism in the Philippines. And of course, you know, what are the... Um, the development plans, or let's say the goals of the OT. So we did also a discussion on the following um, goals and objectives. Let's now proceed to international travel patterns. So what do you mean by international travel patterns? So it, it discusses you know, the, the major travel flows you know, from each country or each continent. Now we're in, um, there's a heavy influx of tourists. No, um, Atong ibutang nga daghan kaayog um, Travelers no, coming from that country, going in in this country. If, for example, the Hokkaido on travel flows from Europe and uh, between Europe and the US, so that means no, um, ang international travel patterns mostly ang dag hundred ngap side is dito jud sa hadapit sa Europe and US because dag hundred mas travel flows no, um, and then followed by other countries such as Africa, no, in the Far East, um, Australia, no, and other. Um, countries with, that are found um, in the continent of Europe. Okay. So major travel flows occur between the U.S. and Western Europe. That's what I have mentioned earlier. So that means no, um, Europe has one of the most or contributes to, to the most um, travel flows. No? Um, because the gan mag mga turista nga magto sa Europe, no, which is from the U.S. daghan po gikan sa um, U.S. or let's say um, gikan sa Europe magto sa U.S. Yeah, so the exchange between them, no, usually direct magikan ang ang kalabanan sa mga turista, no. So secondary regional patterns exist between South America, the Caribbean, Africa, the Near East, and the Far East. So meaning ang heavy travel flows to na ng mga, mga um, continents that were mentioned. No, so um, U.S. is not a continent, of course. It's part of um, North America, but um, sila ang generate the most um, influx of tourists. No, um, inside Europe. So the heaviest flow of air traffic. Air traffic is where in no daghag flights coming in and out of a country. So heaviest air traffic is into Europe. Is between New York and London. So the exchange, no, sa air traffic is quite heavy between New York and London because maybe every day, no, unlike sa Oban nga, ah, very seasonal lang ang kanang um, air, ang um, influx of tourists from this country. Sa ilaha is, it's always consistent. No, nga, daghan jug ka ayaw mo travel sa New York from London or from London, uh, uh, from New York to London or from London to New York or vice versa. Okay, within Europe, the major flows are between London, Paris, um, London and Frankfurt, Amsterdam, Brussels, Zurich, Geneva, Madrid, Copenhagen, 
Vienna, Milan, Roma, and Munich. So, um, it comes to intercontinental class. No? Kalabanan po, no, within the continent of Europe, ang heavy air traffic because some of them um, not only travel by Eurail but also um, um, by plane. No? So, kalabanan na sa mga countries no, within Europe, ang daghan po o influx or travel flows are from the following countries. So, of course, no, it's it's no surprise naman kay these are actually very um, popular countries because they offer no um great food no numerous tourist attractions that can really attract no the tourists or encourage the tourists from visiting okay so the top 10 countries generating international travel in rank order are of course, no, ang daghag international travel is number one should the United States and West Germany and United Kingdom ang nang follow. Because na mention naman na to, no, ang, ang pinaka number one should sa, sa travel flows magikan sa Europe and US. So it's no surprise nga, no, if you rank them or if you rank the countries according to the most the generated international travel, number one the United States, followed by West Germany. United Kingdom, Canada, Japan, France, Netherlands, Mexico, Switzerland, and Australia. These 10 countries, no, ang taga generate of international travel. So, daghag mo travel outside of their country and also daghan po mo travel in their country, which are foreign tourists po. So, Europe generates about one half of overseas travelers to the U.S. So, travel between European countries, intracontinental travel has been very popular. So that is one of the reasons for Europe's largest or large share of the worldwide travel market. So since, of course, Eurail is Eurail is really popular in Europe. That is why, no, um, na made possible ang inter intracontinental travel. So we're in um, countries within Europe, no, or within the continent can travel from one country to another, and it's quite easy, no, because you're only going to swipe um a card. Na nasa mga passes na available, so Instead, na, um, of course, you would take, um, let's say, at ibutang mag jump ka from one vehicle to another. In Uriel, it's very convenient and it's very fast. Pod, no? At the same time, you, um, it's cashless because you'll just be using your pass. So, parang magdipendi po na yung classing a pass if you have a regional pass, no? Or, um, for example, um, in that pass, no, you're only allowed, um, 10 to 15 countries and you're limited to how many hours long of staying in that country within Europe, no? So, Eurail is really um, that popular, no, in Europe. That is why the ganju kayo sila o kanang um, travelers, no, or, or the kodu kayo travel flow because of that as well. Okay. We also have factors that favor the growth of tourism. Because of these factors, class, no, somewhat ning boom ang tourism industry. Not just here in the Philippines, but worldwide. So the first factor that favored tourism is the rising disposable income for large sections of the population. Uh, as it was mentioned no, during the in industrialization and because no, um, there were buildings or businesses that were established already. So um, it provided a lot of opportunities for people to work. And because of that, no, they were paid handsomely. No, and of course... Since the kodako manilang kita or income no from their job kay medyo ning asenso man no ang ang usaka lugar let's just say no daghan na kay ga offer og mga job opportunities kay ga develop naman they need manpower in the industrialization industrialization and then towards the modern nga, nga times so mas asking siya sa class nga na disposable income si um, ang, like majority of the population. So when you talk about disposable income, it's basically like your extra money. Like if you're earning, no, let's say enough money to pay your rent, no, your basic commodities, no, or your expenses, no, or your daily expenses, baron, and then you have extra nga money nga pwede mo masat aside. No, because of that nga, the man ang ilhang sweldo and they have money to um, to spend for vacations, that is why no, it can also favor tourism. Unlike sa una nga, very limited ra ang mo travel, especially among middle class nga mga workers. Kaya itong dili nga nakadako kaayo ang, ang ilahang sweldo at the same time, very limited ra ang mga job oppor opportunities nga gina-offer. 
But since nagka-develop, ka-develop, katukod man siya mga mga buildings and businesses ang mga tao, that is why nga daghan po kayo mangita o mga um, laborers no, or workers. So, mas dagko og chance nga oh, they can earn no, because they already have jobs na po. Okay, growth in the number of retired persons have the desire and energy to travel. Um, unlike before nga, bahalag tigulang na ka, kinangalan siya po ka magbanat buto or mutrabaho, no? But um, especially if you land a very decent job and then, um, like for example, no, sa army kay, sa'yo kay sila mo retire, no? Dili man sila magpabot siya nga, ni Oban nga mo retire o sa'yo, no? Um, and then, tako ilang makuha, no? When they retire. So, that money, ilan na pwede, maga, pwede na nila magamit for for travel, no? Or, and also, it's convenient because since sa'yo man sila nag-retire, they have the energy to travel and they also have the money to travel as well. So, may mga jobs man class nga, you can retire early and dako po kaayo ka o madawat nga money when, when you retire. No? Not all jobs have that noon, no? But, no, there are some jobs kaing ana. That is why, no nga, sayo ka siya ng retire and then nag-cruise da yun sila. Kada ko ka siya nadawat o niya. Napaman siya kusog mo travel po. So, mga ing ana, no? So, maski mo retire ka at 60, at tulay bot ag 60, mo retire, mo siya na ang age, nga mo retire ang usa ka tao. Naiuban nga, very, kuan pa, no, full of energy to travel. No, and they have all the time in the world na. Okay, increase in discretionary time, shorter work weeks, and longer vacation. That is true, no? Um, unlike before nga, you have to work, no? Um, endless hours, no? And then, you you will only earn a penny or gamay rin siya kayo mong ma-earn. Karo, no, shorten na noon ang work weeks, no? And more na noon, daghanag holidays, no? Tingayan ka, ay, long weekend because gigdeclare siya as holidays. So, daghan kig opportunities nga maka-travel. Not only that, class, Appeal po na siya, like, for example, no, karoon, apply naman na sa gobyerno, instead of five days a week, you're only going to report at least four days. So, you have at least three days, no, of, so, very long weekend rin siya, labi na, if you're, if you're, um, day off kayo, mabutang o Friday until Sunday, no, so, mga ingana. So, times have changed naman. So, same good sa inyo, ha, no, nga daghan nung kayo mong leisure time, although, it's not safe to travel pa because there's a pandemic, of course, no. Um, but, knowing that, you're only going to to have your classes twice a week, no? At the same time, class. Um, okay. At the same time, um, what if you're only given like during Fridays to to make your classwork? So, dogan ka na kay mga koan um three or oh, three to four days nga pahawai o mga ingan na. Okay, so for example, TTH la kay class na pa Saturday. And Sunday. No, so, taas-taas siya yung pahaway. So, no, if that will still be applied po in post-pandemic, yeah, two weeks na mo, pero I, I, I doubt it nga mo. Ayun nga na, job po, no? Kay, need you na to ang three hours a week, no nga, klase. So, ayun nga na, no? Taas-taas ang, ang time for vacations because gamay na lang ang time for work. No? Okay, so, greater mobility of the population. So I think to daghan magtao nga um because they can earn much na they can mag migrate to other places. No not only that because of the availability of the different transportation no um advancements in, in transportation technology no which also provides an opportunity for for travelers to travel um um at ease no more kanang at ease no and what is the word what's the correct word kanang murag so, uh, because of the advancements of of transportation no um of transportation technology mas dali na lang no very convenient eh, sorry very convenient na sa part ni, ni tourism travel no provides great mobility for for um for the population or for the tourist no at the same time no roads and pavements no um maayo naman ang mga roads and pavements no um it will be very accessible na sumapun na siya. No? So, growth in the number of singles. Um, I think I, I used to remember, no, um, when we re when I presented my report, no, during my, my master nga class, no, uh, majority of the population sa mga travelers, international travelers, ha, consist of um, independent single 
women nga backpackers. No? So, usually, no, they tend to travel on their own. Siguro mag-vlog sila. Or they would just like to have an alone time. No? At the same time, mga mga batan on run ginahan na sila nga kanang kuan ang mga batan on ginahan na sila nga mo mo travel sila nga sila na lang no kay hasulan sila nga na sila mga kuy at the same time no especially if you're earning that much no you're, you're going to use that money to travel to to unwind no kalabanan sa mga singles ing an i don't know lang ha i do not speak for all of the singles pod pero no um the reason why there is a majority in the population of singles who travel because no Especially among in the Generation Z, nga dili pa ginahan mo settle down or dili ginahan mo rush into a relationship. So they prefer not to unwind or to use their money, no, to invest in in experiences, no, to invest in sightseeing. So mo nang mga reasons class nga ko an um daghag mga singles nga mo travel. No, it, it's convenient on their part because it's less. Um, expensive, kay ikaw raman jud mo kaso simong kaog galingon no? kay agdon at the same time at the same time you get to do what you want so mo na siya next greater credit availability through credit card and bank loans so this is true no um banks today they offer a wide variety of um, mga loans no dili na limited to like mag um study loan or mag loan ka if there's a calamity or i don't know sa nang mga other loans no i haven't tried Um, I only tried um ika usara nga loan before but um when I when I applied for a credit card no sa RCBC so ti jud ko um naa sila usa sa mga benefits nila is kanang when when I travel no murag naa kay discount or um pwede ka ka stay sa lounge no which is also um an additional nga advantage pod sa ga travel Okay, sorry. So you will resume class position to look at you. Usually, um, one of the struggles, no, when you do recording here at home is, um, sabak jud sya, no, na yung mga kanyang mga dilig mo mapugnan ng mga noises, and sometimes it can distract you. That's true, no. Um, as much as I, I, I would like to discuss, no, but sometimes ma distract mangguka niya, maglisod ko ugon ako na basa ma distract ka. Mobita na nga nga even in the classroom class, no, when I discuss and then with your presence. Mulanto rin siya kung usa ka person or even no mo glance ko lang lain kay para ma-avoid nga ma-distract ko because no when you formulate thoughts in your head mang good and then and you are distracted ma-loss and mawala ang imuhang thought no so yung anak na siya sige lang no you you will experience that siguro if if you're going to do reportings or if you're going to speak in 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 crowds nga nga uli pa kayo ni mo kailang mga tao no sa mga anak okay um So let's continue. Okay, so mo na siya, no? Because the ganon na offer ang mga banks karon. That is why nga the ganon ng kaya mga opportunities ang ko an ang mga travelers nung a, for example, ikaw ga gatip, sorry, for example, gatipid ka onya kanang ato ibutang nga. You do not have um enough money. Sakto ra yung kwarta pero Um, ginahan ka mo travel, no kaya ginahan ka mo grab sa opportunity nga na discount tato siya, no or discounted na ang flight or ang plane ticket or for example discounted na pud ang atong ibutang ang ang rooms or or ang tour package in total, dayon pwede mga ka avail no og mga different loans no or your credit card para hulug hulugan na lang nimo, no di siya mo matingub og bayad tanan, okay, for example la pa jukek enough cash on hand so pwede ra ka mag loan no imo lang hulog hulugan so yung ana po na siya no um ka provide na pud si bank of variety of loans that you can avail especially when you travel no they also have i think correct me if i'm wrong if they offer travel insurance but usually you no know, ang gahatag na like um Cebu Pacific offers travel insurance i think um travel agencies they have travel insurances so When when you have that, no, na kaya yung anak ng opportunity, yep, makakabantay mo kang asik, makabayad naman ko monthly, then, mapunan na sa mga factors nga, of course, no, daghan jud ang maingan yung mo travel because they can 
Hindi ka just pay hulog-hulugan lang, installment lang usa kay wala mo koy tingob nga kwarta ron. That can also provide no an opportunity to boost tourism. Higher educational levels. So the more people know about a certain destination or the more people are informed, no, um, the more they are, of course, um, mas maingan yung mo travel. Not only that, I think when you talk about higher educational levels, I think it also talks about um, if you want to study to another place and then, or let's say, they may study another place. Like for example, no, you, want, you, want, you would like to pursue a higher education. Like for example, you want to have a master's degree, no, or you want to learn culinary arts and then it was not offered in your in your city and then kita ni mo nga ay um other cities have it no and pwede mo ko mo travel dito mag dorm lang ko so mo po na siya class no that could also um great opportunity for tourism because people travel because they want to learn no not only that no people also would like to go to conventions seminars because they would like to gather together to share their ideas to learn from one another and that can also provide an opportunity for tourism Okay, let's now proceed to the next, which is the growth of cities. Like, take for example, you have um, San Carlos City as an emerging city. So, for example, um, if San Carlos City is an emerging city, you know, because of its location, because we are complete with amenities, you know, um, because of our reputation as a livable city, you know, so na kita mga, mga achievements as a city, and na makita na sobang mga tourists na, ay, this is a growing city and it's not really that expensive. It's also near Dumaguete and Bacolod. So if I would like to hop from one city to another, I could just do that. So why not visit San Carlos City? So that can also provide benefits to um, cities like San Carlos, no? Because, of course, if dagagbo visit San Carlos City, no, um, not only ang makabenefit ang mga hotels, no? but local business owners, no? Or mga restaurants, no? Or even mga uh, tourist destination nga give visit ni tourists when he or she stayed in San Carlos City. So, mo na siya. Ito. Simplification of travel through the package tour. Um, because it's really simple to travel nowadays. So, everything is already um customized for you. Unlike before, nga, ikaw pa mag-manual. Mag Mangita, pag-abot ni mo dito, ikaw pa mag-book sa imong flight. Pag-abot pa dyan mo dito, abot ka sa, sa, sa syudad or sa lugar nga imong adtuan. Pag-abot ni mo dito, murag Uy, asa mong kumu adto no? First time na ako si masaag ko. Asa mong kumu sakay? Unsay hotel nga barato dire, no? So kana tana no? Kanang ay hala mag mag day trip ba ko or day tour ba ko niya. Wala ka balo asa ko rent og van o oh, mga ingana no? So because you have travel agencies to do that for you, they can arrange your itinerary or your tour package for you and all you have to do is just pay, no? And also connect and makig organize with the travel agent then no that can make travel more simpler no much more easy and convenient on your part that is why maingan yung si tourist kay ay sayon na lang kay di na lang hassle hassle free no may ana na example so because of that no that is one of the reasons why nga um ginahan na pod mo travel ang mga tourists and that could also um favor tourism because daghan noon ginahan mo travel kay sayon na lang no growth of multinational business so that is true no um the more business ventures or let's say kanang mga business development or tayo ibotang dagag mo invest sa usa ka tourist destination or hindi mo invest tourist destination may invest sa ka lugar no it becomes really attractive or not at the same time the businessmen when they would they would like to invest no to 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 a city kay ginan sila mo mutuko dira og kanang establishment or negosyo no, the more improve ang siyudad, no, the more po siya maka-attract og tourists. No, at the same time, maka-attract po siya mga businessmen from other places of the country. See, so, okay, next is modern transportation technology. So again, no, because um, there's already an improvement in transportation, so it's much more convenient for the tourists to commute. So mas ma- ma kan pa siya ma encourage pa siya mo travel no like sa una nga less ra ang travel because the roads are not safe or walay mode of transportation nga masakyan no or makasakay tuod sila pero it would take days you know before reaching the destination so karon na pas pas na lang jud kaayo at the same time it's really convenient and comfortable on the part of the tourists because no ga enhance matong transportation so and it's also safe now. Roads are safe now, so that is why you know, na in favor po siya sa tourism class. Kaya ingano na po si tourist mo travel. 
shift in value. So unlike before nga, people would, um, let's say, ko ano, mag, sa tanga na eh, maghulog-hulog sa tanga na ha, ah, mag, mag, ko an sila, keep money, madalasod sa kong nauna eh, kanang mag, Ay, no, mental block na noon ta. So, ang uban, no, mag, ano sila, mag save, oh, so save money. So, people, no, would like to save money. It's because um, they're going to use it to buy material things. No? Para, ah, kanang ginahan ko mo collect ani, money siya ko. Ang, mag save siya ko money, kay money akong paliton. But now, especially among um, young individuals, no, um, instead of saving their money, no, to buy uh, jewelry and all, ang oban is kasi save silag money because of travel. No, there's already a shift in values. No, people would tend to to spend their money for experiences, no, or to sightsee, no, because para nila it's much more better than material things. Like it could give them that emotional satisfaction or let's say marag basa achievement na siya if makatravel ko ano yung lugar no there's already a shift in the values already no nga people would value experiences more than material things no they are uh, they are really sentimental uh, sentimental pero um mas prefer nila do nga ma happy sila no increase silang dopamine when they see a very nice um tourist attraction or marag it's a great feat already or a great achievement if i reach the top of this peak no, mga yung ana na ang ilahang mga, mga goals in life. Or let's say, mga, mga bucket list lang. Hindi yung goals in life. No? Mga, mga small bucket list lang nila. So, alay so, ano nga, a bucket list dyan ako magkuan. Own joke, dagang alas. Dili na, no? Sa so, kalabanan, sa kalabanan na is travel na dyan. No? Labi na sa kalabanan. Nagyos akong mga schoolmates ka doon kay. Like, yung sa Instagram, travel, travel. Kuro dyan siguro ang walay travel dyan. No, so for lain lain, a form of investment. No, others would like to invest in education. Others would like to invest on material things. Others would like to invest their money on memories and experiences. Nga dili makabayran o kwarta. No, just the mere thought of being in that place. No, experiencing um, the culture of different people. No, when you go to that certain place or the experience of going there. No, nga which you haven't been there before. No, just really out of your comfort zone or out of your hometown. So mo na no so lain lain mo investment. So mo na kalabanan. No, marjun ako na bantayan po. Advances in communication because it's quite easy to advertise tourist attractions nowadays. No, um, it's really easy to communicate. No, with of course, no, with the tourists. Nga, oh, we offer this tour package because of the internet. No, because you have um billboards. No, um, dilit lang tamagulay na on flyers anymore or travel books. No, or let's say posters. But you already have the internet like social media accounts, no? Or even vlogs, no? In YouTube nga, maka-advertise ano mga tourist attractions which favor tourism even more. Okay, next, smaller families and changing roles. So, gone were the days nga, ang, ang typical family nga, size would be 12 children, 15 kabuok bata. Karun, smaller families mo, like one one child or two children, three kids. So, so, muna kalabanan nang uh, dali na lang mo travel no kay gamay ra man ang bata at the same time no kay nang dili pud sunod-sunod no nay uban nga nanay magulang nanay um at least kanang young adult nga mo assist sa mga gagmay so less hassle na in travel so something like that okay so that ends my discussion on um, factors that favor the growth of tourism and the international travel travel patterns so i will now um Share a new screen. Stop shares ako. Sorry. So I will now share a new um a new screen. I will now share um a new slide or let's say we just slide over pictures with you. Sorry. So you escape na. Okay, I hope makita ra. Ay sorry. Okay, so you'll start with the transportation sector. So we have now, ano putol? Okay, we, we have now reached now the part we're in. I will discuss. Wait, I will just. Okay, na. Ah, okay. So we have now reached the part we're in. 
I am going to discuss the transportation sector. So tourism is quite fond with histories, no? Um, or siguro with the references na I'm using, um, na asilay mga koan class, um, like histories, dagan kis mga definitions on tourism. Um, I don't know, no? When I was studying HRM, principles of tourism straight measured me on the psychology of travel. So mga yung anak. Okay. So, we have, um, diff uh, we will go first with the um, evolution of transportation. So, si Koan class, no, si history of travel is different from the transportation evolution because no, this is actually about um, evolution of transportation. No? Kato siya, ang history of tourism to siya, meaning, um, Asa mo ang first tourism? Like, ah, sa una kay, ah, mga spas, they were not like the spas today. You know, the spas before were just fountains nga. They believe nga that can give healing powers or that can heal um, sicknesses or illnesses. But in here, you know, they are divided to dif different areas. So, sometimes now we hear, I don't know lang, but in, there are books actually nga magsigil siya mention sa mga different areas sa transportation because it's really important, no? We need to understand nga the first transportation we're not really like a transportation now. So go struggle po dong uban no. So you will start first with the pre in uh sorry pre pre industrial travel system era. So before the industrial travel system. So this was the period before the widespread industrialization in Europe and North America. There were almost no regularly scheduled transportation services. There was little travel because no dili man scheduled ang travel sa so, uh, ang transportation sa una so kung kanu sara mapuno ang sakyanan o malarga na sila the roads were not well kept i think no sa so, una um dili man sila ayan naka safe unlike um, the roads now and only few people had the money and the reason to travel because people were not earning that much before so you have early industrial travel system era. Road, imp road improvements such as railways, canals, and steamship services were brought about due to rapid industrialization and advances in transportation technology. Common carriers came into existence and began to offer regularly scheduled transportation services. Travel increased because more people who had money to travel. So in this era class, no, since uh, nag, in, nag improve naman ang uh, let's say on transportation, so daghan na kaayog um, paagi, no, where we can travel not just by land but by sea. At the same time, um, daghan, na, daghan na jobs, no, nga na generate, which daghan na tao ang naanay money and also had the reason to travel because daghan naman sila kapilian, no, dili lang nga through road lang ta or by land lang ta mag travel. So carriers also came into existence, so they offer. Regularly scheduled transportation services. They not only, um, let's say, cater to cargo, but they also cater to people na. And they have already a fixed schedule. Compared sa una nga, it's real, it doesn't have any fixed schedule at all. So, kung ma mabiaan ka, wala ka balok kung kano sa ang sunod nga boss. Okay, next we have the... Uh, a um, mature railway system. So this era was characterized by railway, by which expanded their operations by running hotels and providing other travel-related services. Travel agencies and tour companies were formed. So Thomas Cook, an innovator in this field during this era, began his company's activities in the UK in 1840. If you could still remember the history of tourism, Thomas Cook was the first um, travel organizer. So um, he also developed the uh, Tour checks, di ba? Kato mga circular notes nga we're in. Um, instead of exchanging your currency, you can just use that. Marshag bank banknotes, marshag check. Eh. Or tour checks, di, sorry. Tour checks na circular na siya nga. Um, for example, if you're going to Japan and you do not have um, the means to exchange your Philippine peso to yen, so pwede na ka magamit o circular notes or katong tour checks na to pay for your expenses developed ni Thomas Cook. So more people travel during this time because of course na na, na may railway, na, na may mga hotels, no? And there were also travel agencies and tour companies that will help you organize your itinerary or even your um excursions or day tour. 
Next, let's now proceed to express travel system era. Express services increased. Trains and other forms of transportation did not stop at every station or terminal but only at major ones. This increased the speed of travel and encouraged more travel than before. So, um, although nagka-develop naman si transportation class, improved po niyang speed. So, instead of arriving, no, or your travel time would be four hours, no, or, um, to reach the destination. So, mahimo na siya three hours. So, yun na, no? So, nagka-improve po ang speed sa transportation, which also encourage more travelers, no? Because, ay, it would be convenient because instead nga hapon ako maabot, so sayo-sayo pa. So, mga yung anak. Okay, automobile-based travel system era, car ownership boomed in North America. Motorways, interstate highways, and other trunk highways were developed in the later half of this era, which was from 1920 to 1974. So the automobile was predominant over other travel modes from 1920 to 1945. Uh, this was made possible because, of course, class, no, cars before, um, when you own a car, it's much more convenient. No, makalas daw kono ka. It's because instead of of being with commuters, you can travel anywhere you want because you have your own vehicle. At the same time, no need na ka mo kuan nga, mo pila pa ka, no mo kikoy pa kaglanlan mga tao because nag commute ka. So at the same time, gusto ju ka ayo no ang ang car ownership sa una because it was not really that expensive, I think no. So at the same time, um develop naman ang mga interstate highways no like for example no mga national highways may anan dagko nga mga roads that can accommodate um large numbers of of vehicles okay modern tourism travel system era the period from 1945 to 1974 is known as the modern tourism system era car ownership continued to grow at a fast rate mainly at the expense of long distance rail travel the introduction of wide-body jets in 1970 greatly increased air travel. The mass tourism philosophy and marketing approaches were prevalent during the 1950s and 1960s. As I proceed to post-mobility adjustment era, this era began in 1973 to 1974 as a result of the oil embargo generated by OPEC and the resulting increase in fuel prices. The events of the energy crisis basically changed the travel patterns throughout the world. The present era is one in which travelers continue to look to alternative, group-oriented modes of transportation. So if you look at this infographic, this is the evolution of the transportation throughout the years. No? So from very primitive down to um, modern and advanced transportation na siya, no? by, land, uh, by land, sea, and air. Okay, let's now proceed to the airline industry. So I've only discussed only a few lang kotobra ko sa types of airlines and then probably on Wednesday we are going to discuss freedoms of the air. Okay, so let's now proceed to the first um, industry. So in this lesson we are going to talk about um, airline, rail, automobile, coach, um, and steamships. No, after airline. So daghan, uh, no sorry, not steamships, cruise ships or cruise line. Okay, so just um, a very short history of the airline industry. So on December 17, 1903, at Kitty, at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, Orville and Wilbur, Wilbur Wright launched the aviation age when Orville made the first controlled sustained flight in a motorized heavier than aircraft. So if, if it wasn't for the Wright brothers, we wouldn't have the um, airline industry today. So if you are going to define the airline industry, it is a system of transportation. It's part of the aviation industry. So it involves the moving of people and goods. So when we talk about av uh, aviation or let's say the airline industry, sometimes we, th we think about, I for passenger, but it can also cater to cargo. So it can util uh, it utilizes the airways and one of the only true global business. So they say it's quite safer not to travel on air because there are only few recorded nga, um, accidents. No, at the same time, mas dali ka makaabot sa imuhang destination compare kung magland travel ka. So we have the types of airlines. You have the scheduled, fixed routes, and timings. So when we talk about scheduled, like for example, Cebu Pacific and um, Philippine Airlines, now we're in by schedule. Like for example, 
no money siya mga scheduled flights for Manila. So, pili na ka na no, ha, sarang available. And you book a flight, naraman yung mga available schedules po. Or book a plane ticket. Okay, non-scheduled, usually money sila ang mga private planes. no So, um sometimes, no, magdepende na kung kinsa gusto mo rent, no? or musa kay sa private plane, no, wala man doon sila scheduled nga gina-follow. Okay, next, passenger cargo and passenger and cargo. So, when we talk about passenger class, so, person lang sa, o, kaya yung mga private planes, no, nga, accommodate sila, um, dili yung daghan ilang accommodate compared to passenger and cargo planes. No, so, kana lang mga, koan, um, mga gagmay lang nga planes, no, nga, for passenger lang dyan, with minimal cargo. When tag cargo planes class, I think I already shared it with the class last time. Sige, so, google lang ako para naamoy idea on sa so, ang cargo plane, no? Cargo plane. Okay. So, this is um, a picture of a cargo plane. So, the question, no, usually it can carry like vehicles, no, um, perishable item, of uh, perishable goods, no, or non perishable items, or furniture, or something, wadag kung asakyanan. So, it's bigger than a normal cargo and passenger plane or a passenger plane. So, kanisha nga Airbus class, the question, no, sa hai sa, my mouth na opening nga, we're in, na gani uban gani class nga, kanang ma na amis ko, kay last time, um, Ang cargo plane, so ito kay gamay po nga plane. So, isa po, i-deliver abin niya si Boeing 737. Bago nga nahimo nga kung ano, para saan iba? No, or mga bagong nga helicopters. So, muna, nabito nila kang kanang mga cargo aircrafts. So, yan, nakadako. Ano ka ng mga dagko nga mga aircrafts? So, muna siya. Proceed ta. Okay. So, you also have passenger and cargo. So, you have like Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific, so mga yung ano. No nga, you can carry, um, although limited lang siya nga passenger capacity and cargo. So, next is intercontinental, international and domestic. When you talk about intercontinental, so travel from one continent to another. So, you have from Europe to um, Asia, no? Or Eurasia, but um, intra, oh, kanang, intercontinental. So, may ano, ano, from continent to continent or within the continent. So, you have international flight. No? So, for example, um, you have, like for example, Philippines to Japan. No? So, out of the country or out of the country of origin. We talk about domestic flight. Mona siya ang within the country. Like, for example, from Manila to Cebu or from Cebu to Palawan. Say, ano na? I hope you have already um understood no my discussion so in case nga uh, some of my discussion were not really that clear to you or pas pas issue kay ko mo, mo discuss no kay mo na jud niya ko murag force of habit or murag na na jud ko ani nga ani ko ka pas pas mo mo discuss pwede mo ka replay na na way option din siguro nga mo slow down or an sa ba um so for those um who are not who are watching this video right now and who are not able to join to join me earlier this morning so don't worry, no. Although I, I, I mo ko ka promise nga ko an class nga every lecture jud ko maka record kay magagad jud ko sa kung health no og sa kung time if busy jud kay of course mag magagad pud ko sa uban na ko mga subject sa college at senior high or for example no if maglain na kong pamat sa just like last time nagka hives ko noon ya drowsy jud kay ko all the time because of the medication so na yung time nga, dili ko ka-record. Pero do not worry. Again, do not worry. Everything will be provided in the Google Classroom. So, siguro na yung mga delay sa upload. Like, Monday, di po ka-upload per on Wednesday. And Friday, maka-upload. So, ko, Anna. And all of my examinations will, will be from the learning materials that I have uploaded on Google Classroom. Dili siya ko makuha mga external materials class nga wala mo na wala mo na-inform na ko. So, i-inform dito mo dahan. And I also give pointers. no So, just to be fair, because, of course, no I know, uh, we need to be really self-reliant as as learners because, class, um, kuan man, um, wala naman ko dira for me para mo discuss nyo face-to-face, -face, no? 
um, it's really up to you. No self-paced learning na na siya on your part. If ginahan mo wala to ning video or dili, ginahan mo activity or dili, naraman siya ninyo no kamo may mo mo decide no kung kung mo, mo tuman ba mo sa activities or dili. But still, um, I'm still trying my best to cater to all of your needs para at least no despite of of um me teaching you from afar, naray siya po may makatunan. No, by the end of the sem, no, wala rin po na waste ang semester because um, wala rin po nag-undang or let's say, ang uh, education is is still there, no? no wala rin taga ga char, char lang diri. Okay? So, thank you so much again for listening. I would really like to apologize for the external nga mga distractions, like mga saba-saba, no? But I do hope nga madungog rin akong tingog. Mamaraman siya ng importante. So, um, I cannot do my recordings in a quieter place like in the office because of the internet connection. Ang kusog rajud nga part sa balay. And naroon siya mga inevitable nga mga saba-saba. Nga dito mga kong like na iro, no? Or other people po. So, kanal lang siya nga to ang i-sacrifice. So, again, thank you so much everyone for listening. I do hope you have learned something from me tonight. So, thank you.